I'm so scared of this first podcast. Good Lord. Welcome to the first ever pre-workout popsicle podcast. Or in other words, the PPP <laughs> or PP podcast. Dude, you said it backwards. Uh-uh. Yes. Yeah. I said PPP. And then PP podcast. PP podcast. And then I was going to finish with pre-workout popsicle podcast. That Isaiah just... That's what I started uh, with. For, uh, mentioned. I know. Here, I'm going to get working. comfy. Oh my gosh. This is going to be so awkward. I don't know why anyone would listen to this thing, except my wife, maybe. She's not even going to listen to it. She's not this. even going to listen to it. Nah. All the babes that I've been hitting up probably going to listen to it. They're super into listening to me talk. <laughs> <laughs> all those all those Tinder girls you keep saying, hey, go follow me on Instagram. Yeah, or, dog, that's <laughs> how you freaking get followers. Check it out. Does that mean I need to download uh, Tinder and swipe people and be like, hey, go uh, go buy some popsicles? Absolutely. Especially if Taylor gives you the go ahead. Just, just <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm married, but I own a business. Go <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, like it's so bad hey i'm married and this is i am not in an open marriage i'm just starting a business can you go support it we want hot girls to buy our popsicles uh, at the gym i always like to go to people and be like hey uh sorry to bug you but me and my wife think you're really cute oh my gosh <laughs> that's so bad <laughs> at the gym hey so uh, my wife over there thinks you're super cute <laughs> <laughs> yeah so do you want to come over <laughs> come over horrible this Horrible. podcast has already gone downhill. Just so, started. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we can. If there are any swingers. I don't think this should be the first one. <laughs> if there are any swingers out there, Stop please it. go <clears throat> buy my popsicles for you, your wife, your wife's partner, oh your my. partner, your wife's <laughs> partner's partner, and your your husband's partner's sister's partner. I think we have to start over, dog. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> All right. All righty. So. <laughs> we, this is going to be me this whole podcast. I just, I can't, dude. Need, this is so you weird. You need to stop. To, anyways, let's talk about pre-workout popsicles for a second. All right. That's our whole purpose here is not to start a freaking podcast. This is the byproduct of the company that we are a part of and own. Which is I'm the pre- owner, and I am the co-owner. I'm the main owner. You're like a and small. That's fine. You can be the main owner. One percent owner. You're full of shit. This wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for me. What do you mean? This podcast, bro, or this popsicle business? The popsicle business, dude. I was the one who birthed it from my loins. You birthed it for your loins, and it was stillborn. <laughs> All you did, all you can do is take pictures. I, That's literally I, all you do. I, all you do is take pictures. I, That's it. I take the pictures. You're damn straight. I was the guy who freaking rubbed the little shockers together and shocked it to life. Dude. Do you you think, had you were sitting on it for how long? A year before? Not even a year. All right, not even. All right, a all couple right. months. Okay. And sure. that's because sure. I was trying to find a manufacturer. Uh-huh, that's uh-huh, why. Uh-huh. Couldn't find one. Well, I found one. But it costs way too much money. Right. Sh- should we tell the story? Should I tell the story? I mean, yeah. Let's give them the background of pre-workout pops. All right. Ask me the, like you're interviewing me because this is a podcast. I want to feel like I'm on a podcast. All right, Isaiah. Talk to me about PP. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, I love PP. It was my wife's idea, actually. Oh, yeah? All right. <clears throat> so there it was. 2018? 2019. 2019. My wife was working for Bucked Up, actually. Well, she wasn't working for Bucked Up, but she was working with Mother's this is Lounge. This not a sponsored ad for Bucked Up. This is not a sponsored ad, but Bucked Up is pretty delicious. But not as delicious oh my God. as pre-workout not popsicles. As yes. Okay, All right, going, here's my yeah. ADD kicking in. Mm-hmm. So there I was, 20, 2019. <laughs> I thought it was 2018. You're changing I lied. the years. I lied. It's 2019. You're so full my, of me shit. And my, me and my wife were dating at the time. Okay. She... What did customer service for Bucked Up. Nice. And so she'd always, you know, swipe all the returns, you know, because they, they, they don't resell them. Right. Anyway, so there I was, eating, drinking some Bucked Up. Great flavor. And I tasted it. I was like, you know what? This tastes exactly like an Otter Pop. And my wife's like, 
why don't we make one? And that was how it was birthed. The idea, the idea was birthed. The idea was birthed. So that was back in 2019. Yep. How long was it before you made the first popsicle? So actually, right after that, we just got some plastic tubes from Amazon and just took a scoop of bucked up, mixed it with like three ounces of water, and then put it in a popsicle. Okay. It was good, but it was like way, 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 way too sour. So it's not very good. Okay. Anyway, so we sit on it for or about a year till COVID gets in full swing. So not until May or June of 2020. So that's when I started experimenting. So I just bought a bunch of random products from, you know, <laughs> different you know, Amazon Blackburn distribution, bulk supplements to get all the different ingredients that are found in pre-workout. Right. <clears throat> and I started combining them and it tasted so bad. So bad. It was so bad. Okay. Dude, you got to give me some more feedback. You can just, you just keep saying, well, cake. I'm listening. You're doing a good job. Just keep talking about it. You're telling the all story. Right, all right. You're Thank telling the story to me and to our listeners. <laughs> yeah. Hi, mom. Oh my God. Okay. So. Thanks for the positive reinforcement. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, everything tasted like crap. No matter what I did, it was garbage. I even went and just bought Otter Pops, opened them up, mixed them together, the same flavors, and then tried to add all the ingredients. Still still nasty. Still nasty. Too bitter, right? Way too bitter. So bitter, um, which is all the amino acids and caffeine that make it bitter. Right. Which is why every single pre-workout you taste, taste has like that little – sour kick because you need that to counteract the bitter okay so i found that out by like i would literally watch chemistry youtube videos on like how they make red bull and coke and energy drinks and all that stuff and all of them say yeah you got to find a balance of between bitter and uh acidic uh flavors so then after i finally did that i first created my first one a couple months later, that finally tasted decent. It wasn't good, but it was palatable. It was palatable. Yeah. <clears throat> Every other one, like you put it on your tongue and you just, you can't even eat it. It was so bad. And so it was palatable. And then I, you know, figured it was going to be too hard for me to do it. So I hired some chemists off of CoLab Tree for a couple thousand dollars. And then they finished making the formula to where I could actually, you know, eat it which is what it is now okay so pre-workout pops is it's it it's its own formula own formula made from scratch by yours truly very nice so pre-workout pops is its own pre-workout pre-workout yep Dude, very nice own formula proprietary blend if you say so it's a secret formula nice well, don't sue me. So you people. said, <laughs> yeah, I know. I needed to clear that up just now. Like, so it's its own blend. We don't just freeze other people's pre-workout and resell it. Yeah, which wouldn't make sense because I wouldn't make a profit because I'm selling it for what the average pre-workout costs. Right. Um. All right. So that being said, you said May is when you started. May of 2020. All right. Well, that's when we met. No, right? we didn't. We met in 21. We Did met we? my birthday, 2021. Oh, wow. So I started building the formula in May. Didn't get it to where it was tasted anywhere near good until like September, October that year. Uh huh. Summer was already over. Right. So, and then I spent the rest of the time trying to find a manufacturer. So I was calling all sorts of place. I was calling um, all the nutraceutical companies that are here in Utah um, Arizona, all over the country, right? Mm -hmm. The only one, well, I found everybody could make a pre-workout, but no one could make a pre-workout popsicle. No one would put it in a plastic tube, right? With all the ingredients and sell it. I found a couple companies that did, but I'd have to order half a million units for the very first time before they'd even consider accepting me. Right. And that's just not doable as it, a startup. Yeah. Well, it's, it's going to cost like 150, 200 K. Right. Right. I mean, unless someone sponsored the project, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess it really could, goes down well. Yeah. And you can't do Kickstarter. I looked in Kickstarter. Right. 
Because of caffeine. Because right? caffeine, right? Can't do anything caffeine related through Kickstarter. Through Kickstarter. Um, and so I was just like, screw it. I'm going to make it myself. And for the first, I don't know, still now, I guess, for the first year, I was making everything by scratch. Hand feeling, hand mixing everything until, until now. Right. <laughs> until now. Now, before we talk about now, I came, I, when's your birthday? April 11th. So that I met you April 11th. 2021. 2021. I keep forgetting that it's 2022, dog. Dude, happy new year. Happy new year. We haven't even known each other for a year. No, we haven't. I feel like we're brothers. We are brothers. We're PP brothers. Dude, you can't get closer than being a PP <laughs> brother. Right. And we're trying to create a PP family. The PP crew. PP crew. P-P With team. me as the popsicle king or the popsicle man. Either one. Yeah. I like king better, but my wife likes man better. Yeah, I'm a man king. Well, she doesn't treat you like a king, so. <laughs> Popsicle man it is. Popsicle man it is. <laughs> she lays it down. <laughs> you ain't no king. <laughs> oh, man. But shout out to my wife. She's the only reason why we're actually friends. Me and you. Yeah, true. Yeah. Did you want to tell that story? Um, We won't use names, so remember not to use names. Oh, boy. Dude, oh, me boy. trying to remember something? Good luck. Don't use the name. Okay. Okay. Anyways, so yeah. So there's this girl named. Oh uh, my god. <laughs> <laughs> we won't. She shall not be named. Um, yeah. She's basically like Voldemort. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope she listens to this shit. <clears throat> Except yeah, she so, has a nose. Yeah, she has a nose. So she ain't exactly like Voldemort, but she brings death. Absolutely. Hey, get a little bit closer to that mic, dog. Bro, I'm. You want to have your mustache touch, <laughs> touch the microphone. Yeah, so if you guys don't. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you look ridiculous. <laughs> you look. Anyways, um, yeah, so Taylor was the reason why Isaiah and I met. Um, I was uh, kind of dating, not really dating this icky, I mean, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't want to talk too Yeah, bad. don't talk terrible about her. Just tell us the story. Okay, well, yeah, no, I was dating a friend. And yeah, she was terrible. <laughs> she was so I bad. cannot. <laughs> I know not you're say sitting here telling terrible. me you're telling me not to talk bad. You hate her more than I do, and I freaking hey, I don't hate her. Yeah, I don't know. I strongly dislike who she was <laughs> as a person. She was bad. Anyways, um, my wife knows her. Keep I going. wonder if she could sue us for this. How? Right. No names. No names. No names. You don't know who dog. we're talking about. You have no idea. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, anyways, it was pretty toxic, up and down, kind of super bad. I obviously lucked out because I'm not a part of her life. She's not part of mine. But through this girl, I met Taylor and then was introduced uh-huh. to Isaiah. Oh. There we go. All worth it. All worth it. Actually, honestly... Yeah, I mean, I would not have met Isaiah if it weren't for that chick that I was half seeing. Dude, so shout out to uh, that this half chick. chick. Doesn't matter if it was bad. It led to something beautiful. Beautiful. Out of the ashes was born a phoenix holding two popsicles in each wing. Oh my gosh, New shirt on a shirt. We <laughs> there we go, guys. We got a new new a shirt Phoenix coming. Phoenix holding popsicles. Two popsicles Hell. in each talon or each wing. Each wing, bro. Oh, and the talon can be carrying a lightning bolt because that's our freaking wow logo. Absolutely, I got it. I already have it in my brain. I got it. I feel like if we had a Pokemon, uh huh, that's what it'd look like. Um, okay, I'll take it. Yeah, if how yeah. Okay, so if there's any of our listeners that knows how to draw, which is, we have zero listeners, so... <laughs> we have zero, so I'm, I'm drawing it until someone else can do it for us. I'm throwing this out in the metaverse. Universe. Metaverse? My bad. What the hell? You don't know what the metaverse is? Isn't that superheroes from, like, Flash, DC? No, dude. The metaverse? You don't know what the metaverse I is. I know what metas are. Okay, so the metaverse is just, like, the virtual universe. That's all it means. Oh. 
I know. So Facebook changes name to Meta. You know that, oh, right? Oh, is that where you got it from? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, I guess so. But everyone's like literally building worlds in uh, this virtual space. You can literally buy land in this virtual world. Bullshit. Dude, it's the next right, that's, that's gonna be a whole other topic that we could talk yeah, about. Yeah, that's later. We should get a we should get a guest before we're talking about that. Podcast on what were we talking about? Forgot. Well Your uh, roommate walked in. Yeah. Curse uh, him. Yeah. Dude, you gotta hold the mic right. What are you doing? I'm holding the damn mic. No, you're like waving around, <laughs> playing with it. Uh, like it's a pre workout popsicle. Hell yeah. Um or something. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Or something else. Or something else. <laughs> if you're married. I'm single. I can get away with that shit for now. Um. Anyways, let's talk about since from the time I have come into the picture till now, all the stuff that we've been able to accomplish. Right. So we met in April. We went out to dinner. Remember, like you handed me a pack, and I was like, I just. I remember holding the popsicles right there on the street and just being like, dude, what are you doing with this? And you guys like just both like you and Taylor just both looked at me and kind of were like, well, I don't, I don't, I was like, no, let's make this big. I just remember saying that. I remember saying something along the lines of like, no, dude, like let's you're, figure this out. You're remembering this wrong. Oh my gosh. All he said is, I want to be a part of this. That's Let's not all meet. I said. Then we met. You're like, you were stoked about it. Yeah, I remember being like... And then the heavens opened. Oh. And a vision descended for us. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Of riches. Oh, my gosh. And popsicles without number. As you can tell, Isaiah has severe ADHD. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> so bad. So bad. So I cannot these, keep it taut. These, these podcasts are going to be wild and... Um, and thanks to those who are part of our cult following, cause you guys will be the only listeners. Well, I'm the one that makes this podcast exciting. Dude, I have exciting topics to talk about. We're talking about your, the company you started. Thank you. And yeah, you're doing a good job making it exciting. But you're also very distracting telling your own damn story. So <laughs> <laughs> let's. Uh, <clears throat> All right. So met on my birthday. We, we met on dinner. your birthday. Yes, we went to we dinner. We went to Mexican place. We went to Mexican. It place. wasn't very good. I was disappointed because it was my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was your birthday. No one told me it was your birthday. Yeah, that's because I'm not pretentious. Okay. Well, <laughs> I am. So. Okay. Anyway, so we meet, and you're like, "Dude, I'm in. I'm. Let's go balls deep." Yeah, I don't think I said that because that's not something I say, but... I say that. Yeah, you... I'm telling the story now. Oh, my gosh. Okay, you want to go? All right, I'm going to pass the mic to you. I'm holding my own mic already, but... Well, you... Anyways, I don't necessarily remember... (laughs) 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 I don't necessarily remember uh, that far back. I just remember, like, we were kind of... Like, you were super stoked to have me take pictures... And I was super stoked to have pre work like free pre workout, you know. And um I like took it and had one of the best workouts of my life and I was like, wait, no, like this is sick. Um I don't know. I was kind of the guy that kind of gave some structure to the business. Cause I was like, hey, like if you're down, let's have like a weekly meeting. And kind of like course correct and figure stuff out. And then I would literally drive uh, to your your house and we'd sit and have meetings and stuff. And then and then we started to evolve. Like the relationship naturally started to evolve to like, hey, let's like go work out together. Right? And yeah. then we started taking pictures of us with the popsicles. And it started like it started catching traction. Like people on my, you know, Instagram platform were like, yo, dude, like what is this? I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm taking pictures for this. Sweet pre-workout company. Yeah, you definitely gave it the spark that needed, because I was li- I was pretty depressed after trying to find a manufacturer to do it and I couldn't find anyone to do it. Right. And so, and my pictures were terrible. His, his pictures were so Instagram. bad. I had to. Yeah, we took a bunch down, but we left some just so that people can scroll down and see 
where the company started before I entered. <laughs> Dude, all you all you can do is take pictures, bro. Bro, all I do is take pictures and literally give the company life. Anyways, um, uh, I've gotten so many DMs saying that the page looks dope. Hell yeah, it looks so sick. So you're doing a good job. Hell yeah, I just want the recognition, um, dude. Recognition, do you're amazing. Thank you. Words of affirmation is one of my love languages. <laughs> yeah, I like being complimented too. Yeah, well, you're a redhead, so suck it. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Uh, anyways, um, yeah, so we... Uh, what did we do? Yeah, here we are. We, t- we took a bunch of pictures. Yeah. Made we, the page look good. Started getting followers on Instagram because before we met, what did I have? 200 followers? 150? Yeah, it was a small account, man. It was super small. Yeah. But, I mean... Now we're at what sixteen, almost seventeen hundred. Yeah, in so, a in a matter of six months. Yeah, it needs to. Yeah, we definitely need yeah, to increase uh, those numbers. Obviously. So if you listen to this, this is why we're doing this. Is so we can have content. Yeah, all kinds of s- content and multiple sources of it. So, um, but not ever since we kind of like both put like both feet into it. We were like. The the juices just started flowing, man. Yeah. Like all kinds of ideas as far as l- like slogans, you know. Like literally, I went to the gym and I was working out with oh yeah with my buddies, and I just shot text. I'm like, bro, I'm zapped, and that's what I just kept using. Yeah. In my stories, I'm like, at pre workout pops, get zapped, and I just kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing it, and with like before you know, like that's now a huge. Um, Part of the company, you know, get zapped. It was the greatest moment ever. I don't know. I think the greatest moment ever is when we figured out we could <laughs> put the logo into the word zapped. Yeah. Well, we need to change the name of the company to Zapped one day. I don't know. I've thought about that, but I like, I don't know. I don't know. I like pre-workout pops. Pre-workout pops is just the original, the but like we'll yeah. s- we can also do a little branch well, and, c- and c- call ourselves Zapped or Get Zapped. Get Zapped. Yeah, like I, I, I drink Get Zapped. You little zapper. Well, okay, mm, before we lose <laughs> <laughs> all traction, it's been super cool for me personally um, being part of the pre-workout pops because um, being a photographer, you know, a lot of a lot of what I do is creative or I have to be super creative in order to create like my own content or content for the companies I shoot for. And so with pre-workout pops i was able to access a different part of my brain and really come up with you know things specifically for a popsicle company yeah i think it's actually super unique to see the different mindsets or not really mindsets but the way you think about things is completely different than the way i think about things because you're creative like absolutely and that like it it's such a good combination the way your brain works and the way my brain works because obviously like this is your company you want it to do well you have goals for it right and my brain literally works on how can we portray it to people how can we sell it how can we right um, make it appealing to people who want to you know are in the fitness industry and want to take pre-workout yeah, because I, I have, like, ha- had ideas. So, for instance, the the rapper uh-huh. for the pop school for the film. Yeah. Like, I had an idea, like, oh, I want it to be uh, black and clear. And I want to be able to see, you know, the the color through the through the film. And then you just, oh, you mean like this? I jot it up, boom, I, first try. I was like, bro. Literally, literally, we it was one of those weekly meetings. I came over, we sat down, he told me exactly what he said, and I drew it up in five minutes. Yeah, and I was like, that looks better than what I was thinking. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it It's so cool to have, like, the obviously, it, super beneficial to have partners in a company, especially partners you can trust. And, um, 
Not that I trust Isaiah. He's, probably <laughs> <laughs> He's actually kind of a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm just waiting for this to sell. So yeah. For a couple yeah. minutes, I'll screw him over. <laughs> yeah, he's just going to be like, Sar- sorry, man. Um, thanks for all the hard work, buddy. Thanks for the, all the hard work, buddy. Wouldn't have been able to do this without you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 here's your severance package of $0 because there's no contract signed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, buddy. Screw you, Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> Screw you, Isaiah. Um, no, but like I said, the way his brain works, the way my brain works, it's been super cool to see these ideas come to fruition. Uh, this podcast, for example, I mean, we, Isaiah and I, we love going to the gym. We go to the gym to get away from his uh, life, my life problems, all that, all that crazy stuff, you know, and... Um, while we're there, we'll talk about the shit we're going through. And we were just like out of nowhere. Like we were talking about some good stuff, some deep stuff. And just like every, for like every fucking dude out there goes, oh, dude, we should start a podcast. Because we feel like we can, you know, we talk about cool things that people would listen to. But we actually talk about cool things that people would listen to. Also, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. <clears throat> we will talk about cool things. <laughs> Obviously, not every episode is going to be everyone's cup of tea. But or milk, if tea's not your thing. Exactly, and some assholes just drink water. <laughs> so, if you like it, if you like it, you like it. If you don't like it, yeah, doesn't well, mean we're not gonna. Stop. Here's one thing: Ryan would always talk about doing a podcast that we should do one, uh-huh. and then I just went and bought mics, and now we're doing one. Exactly, and that's kind of like the 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 combination of two people, two people, and yeah. how our minds work, right? Well. <laughs> Doing things by yourself is actually super hard. Yeah. Because there's no accountability. Mm-mm. There's no one really pushing you to do it. Nope. And props to anyone who started their own business by themselves. Right. And does vid- YouTube videos or podcasting or anything by themselves. Because that would be insanely hard. Yeah. If I didn't have someone saying, hey, are we going to do this? When are we going to do this? Right. And bounce ideas off of and whatnot. Right. Yeah, so it's it's just been cool to see the company grow in the past six months to what it is now. Like, dude, we're start we're, we're on our first podcast. Yeah, that's pretty pretty wild. remarkable. Who does pretty that? wild, right? Um, and I got like six orders in the last couple of days. Yeah, so yeah, like we've uh, we've set a goal of how many sales a month. Um, so last year our average month was like a thousand bucks. So like nothing basically yeah but i mean for a startup company yeah uh, not that's, bad like that's I, a big deal that i was made a thousand bucks a month well kind of for half the year yeah um with my own idea well my wife's idea yeah and to help ryan and it's crazy i can't believe i have a product i have a business it's yeah. still kind of surreal to me yeah it's yeah it's pretty even though it's like a money pit and i lose money every single month doing it it's still cool Still cool, and hopefully we'll turn around, you know. Um, yeah, we have popsicles. We have hoodies now that we sell. Oh, they're so sweet. So sick. Honestly, like, oh, w- man. we need to sell more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we sold, like, what, 10? Yeah, My ten? mom bought one the other day. Okay, yeah, today. 10. Yeah, 10, but 10 out of 50, right? We only have 40 left to sell, and right. we haven't been pushing it for the past week. Yeah, well, we have, uh, we have that event... That fitness vendor booth thing. Absolutely, next week. we gotta have a rack and have them hanging. Oh, People yeah. can just come up and purchase right then and there. True, but yeah, no, that's kind of uh, where we're at. And honestly, the point of this podcast is we're just trying to make this thing grow. My hope is that because I know a little bit about business, I don't know a lot, and I would love to actually in the future interview some business people, business people, athletes, fitness you know, people, all kinds of like all kinds of people. And, and, and just obviously pre-workout pops is would will be the source of discussion, but yeah. Well, and of course what they're into, because if I can talk to a business one and implement maybe something that I learn in pre-workout pops, That'd be cool for us to see how it grows and for the audience. Yeah, absolutely. Well. I don't know. I feel like there's something, there's just a little bit more. What, 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 what? Um, I think we've talked all that we can talk. 
Yeah, we're about 32 minutes. Yeah. Should we, uh, how, how should we end these podcasts? This I don't the know. First one. Eventually, eventually Everyone we're going to. Everyone has like the way they end it. PP boys out. PP boys forever. PP boys forever. And then we, and then we double tap the mics. <laughs> double tap the mics. That was triple tap. <laughs> triple, because it's PPP. Oh my God. Oh we my. accidentally made this amazing. <laughs> That's the story of this business. Our slogan, our logo, all because coincidentally they worked out yeah like the zaft and the double piece yeah the accident yeah yeah no there's a there's a lot of funny innuendos to our company a lot of things <laughs> follow us on instagram if you want to hear what those innuendos are right Maybe. oh that reminds me um ultimately the way we want to sell this is and correct me if i'm wrong but you're wrong okay um I said, correct me. Oh, okay. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> I, I don't right. correct you when you're wrong. <laughs> Cause I'm never wrong. <laughs> the way we want to sell this is sh- honestly like because of the way things have worked out, you know, pre-workout popsicles is, is PP. We're the PP boys. We're popsicle boys. We do not take ourselves too seriously. We own a freaking popsicle. We company. own a How freaking popsicle. Can we company. take ourselves seriously? We can. And we, and honestly, I don't want to. It we ever since we kind of and and this really came to fruition the last couple months where we just have been so wild and irreverent. Dude, it's been so fun. It's been a blast. And that's kind of where we're like, nah, this is fun for us. This is a good time. We enjoy it. And other people see what we're doing. They love our videos. They see us at the gym. Bro, we wear fucking vipers, pit vipers or heat wave freaking <laughs> glasses to the gym right yeah 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 <laughs> we we're idiots <laughs> we're, we're we're idiots we shouldn't be allowed in public we shouldn't <laughs> be allowed in public yet we go out in public and our we're, we're freaking menaces to society dog we're not menaces we're menaces to the to the gym fitness society ah uh, yeah um people don't go to the gym at boston america fork yeah you, unless you want to see me there and ryan <laughs> Lifting some heavy weight, making fools of ourselves. Absolutely. Uh, I was going to tell the tell everyone this, and now that I feel like the way I word it, it just this is awkward now. Okay. Anyways, because I know that for you know for business you got to make a lot of content on like social media, and I knew I was like, oh, I need to make reels or I need to make posts, but I, I've always hated social media and doing that until we kind of let loose, been wild. Yeah, and if you look back on some of our reels, they're pretty hilarious. They're pretty hilarious. And they've been a blast to make. Absolutely, and, and we have so many ideas. So so many. <laughs> so, so many. So much. So much. So many much ideas. So so much many things in the works. Good. So hopefully we'll crush it in 2022. And you'll see a bunch more of us making fools of ourselves. Absolutely. A bunch more popsicles example, sold. A bunch uh, a bunch of PP podcasts. And yeah. uh Yeah, we're we're gonna make a lot of money. So thanks guys. Yeah, thank you. Every single last one of you, bless you. Bless your father. <laughs> bless your your father's father. Kind of tied it back All into the way the back how, how this podcast started. <laughs> <laughs> how to start dollar signs and getting your getting your sister's sister's wife's oh husband. my gosh i forgot about that that's how we're gonna delete that might delete it we'll see all right it's cute i thought it was cute might delete later all right should we triple tap this all right triple tap one more time one two three bye bye see ya